This key term lesson includes specific learning disorder. Specific learning disorder is a neural developmental disorder with a biological origin that is the basis for cognitive abnormalities associated with behavioral signs of this disorder. Genetic, epigenetic, and environmental factors can affect the brain's ability to accurately and efficiently perceive or process verbal and nonverbal information. An essential feature of specific learning disorders is the persistent difficulty to learn key academic skills, despite interventions that target those difficulties. Academic skills affected include reading, reading comprehension, written expression, spelling, arithmetic calculation, and mathematical reasoning. The onset of difficulty in learning is during the years of formal schooling. Diagnostic criteria are to be met based on the synthesis of multiple sources of information, including school reports and individuals' history, like developmental, medical, family, and educational histories, and psychoeducational assessment. Learning disorders are coded according to the demonstrated impairment and its characteristics, such as with impairment in reading, with impairment in written expression, and impairment in mathematics. The impairments in reading can be specified by the area affected, for example, word reading accuracy, reading rate or fluency, and reading comprehension. Dyslexia is another term that can be used in reference to a pattern of learning difficulties affecting the ability of accurate or fluent word recognition, decoding, and spelling. Impairments in written expression can be in the areas of spelling accuracy, grammar and punctuation accuracy, and or clarity or organization of written expression. The impairments in mathematics can be specified as affecting the areas of number sense, memorization of arithmetic facts, accurate and fluent calculation, and or accurate math reasoning. This calcula is a term that refers to a pattern of learning characterized by problems in processing numerical information, learning arithmetic facts, and performing accurate and fluent calculations. Specifiers for the severity of learning disorder are mild, Difficulty in one or two academic domains can be compensated for, allowing the person to function well with some accommodations or support services. Moderate, one or more domains are affected, requiring some intervals of intensive or specialized teaching during the school years, and accommodations are needed at school and at work. Or severe, severe learning difficulties affect several domains, requiring ongoing intensive individualized and specialized teaching during most of the school years. Even with many appropriate accommodations and support services in the home, at school, or at work, they may still be insufficient for the individual to complete all activities efficiently. Learning disorders appear in aggregates in families, especially when affecting reading, mathematics, and spelling. In addition to heritability as a risk factor, prematurity or very low birth rate and prenatal exposure to nicotine also increase likelihood of an individual experiencing clinically significant learning disabilities. The prevalence of specific learning disorders is 5% to 15% among school-aged children, measured across academic domains, different languages, and diverse cultures. Specific learning disorder is more common in males than in females. Specific learning disorder also occurs in cultures and ethnicities and all levels of socioeconomic status and intelligence, but the manifestations of the problems are affected by the nature of the spoken and written symbol system, alphabetic or non-alphabetic, as well as cultural and educational practices. Individuals with a specific learning disorder may experience negative functional consequences throughout their lifespan, with lower academic achievement, higher school dropout, low rates of post-secondary education, more psychological distress, greater underemployment and unemployment, and lower incomes. In practical terms, learning disorders occur when an individual's academic achievement in reading, mathematics, or written expression is well below what would be expected for an individual's chronological age, grade level, and, traditionally, intelligence. In most states, in order to be diagnosed with a learning disorder, the individual's achievement level in a specific academic domain must be at least two standard deviations below his or her IQ. More recent formulations emphasize low academic achievement regardless of IQ. Additionally, these learning problems must cause significant impairment in academic achievement or disrupt activities of daily living that rely on reading, mathematics, or written expression skills. When left untreated, learning disorders are associated with low self-esteem, 
delinquency, aggression, and social withdrawal and isolation. In surface or orthogonal dyslexia, children are able to read words with regular spelling, but have difficulty reading words with unusual or irregular spelling. Dyslexia may also manifest itself in non-reading areas. For example, individuals with dyslexia can have difficulty comprehending rapid verbal instructions, have difficulty in engaging in activities that require sequential or strategic planning, and demonstrate left-right confusion. Similar to dyslexia is alexia, a language disturbance in which reading deficits develop in brain-damaged individuals whose premorbid reading skills were intact. Evidence-based treatments, which used to focus on correction of alleged underlying perceptual or sensory motor processes, now pertain to direct instruction in the area of deficit. Intensive intervention is associated not only with academic gains, but also with enhanced functioning in underlying brain regions. For example, language processing centers related to reading disorder. Let's practice with a question for a specific learning disorder. Optimal intervention for reading disorders involves Answer A, spinning exercises designed to enhance cerebral functioning. Answer B, direct instruction in the underlying functional deficit areas. Answer C, visual training designed to undo reversal areas. And answer D, focus learning training. The correct answer is answer B, as direct instruction has come to replace training in alleged underlying perceptual or sensory motor processes for reading disorders. Answers A and C are incorrect and are examples of older procedures. And answer D is incorrect and is in fact a distractor term.